Hello again, scientist. Uh, you've got to be kidding me. It's still raining? It's been a whole week. Seriously, who's in charge of this nonsense? I just want to paint something bright and sunny, but all I can think about are gray clouds and soggy socks. Hmm. Wait, what makes the weather anyway? It has to come from somewhere, right? Good idea, Mia. Let's figure this out. If I can't stop the rain, maybe I can at least understand it. Okay. So what is weather really? Ah, oh, weather is just a word we use to describe what's going on in the sky. And there are four big things that help us describe the weather. First is temperature. That's how hot or cold it is outside. Next is precipitation. That's a fancy word for anything falling from the sky, like rain, snow, or hail. Third is cloudiness. Sometimes the sky is super clear. Other times, clouds, clouds, and more clouds. Last one is wind. Some days it's calm, some days it's breezy, and some days it feels like the wind is trying to blow everything away. So, temperature, precipitation, cloudiness, and wind are the weather. But what makes it? And Mia, it's been raining forever. Where is all this water even coming from? Okay, so it starts with a little puddle. When the sun shines on it, the water starts to warm up. As the water warms up, it creates tiny drops of water called steam, which goes up into the air. When the water goes up into the air, we call that evaporation. That's a big word, but it just means the water is turning into tiny invisible drops and rising up to the sky. Once the water is in the sky, it cools down and starts to stick together. That's called condensation, and it's how clouds are made. But when a cloud gets too full, it can't hold all that water anymore. So what happens next? Precipitation. The water falls back down to the ground as rain, snow, or hail. And that cycle of rain to sun to clouds and back to rain just keeps repeating. So yeah, this rain might be driving me bananas, but now I know it's just part of the earth doing its water thing. So we know what weather is, and now we know where rain comes from. But what actually changes the weather? Oh, interesting, Mia. One big thing that changes the weather is the sun. The sun heats up the land and the air. And when the air gets warm, it starts to move. That moving air is called wind. So the sun helps make wind too. Other things on earth change the weather too, like mountains, oceans, and forests. Mountains can stop clouds, so one side might get rain while the other side stays dry. The weather can be totally different depending on where you are on earth. It's all about the sun, the land, and the air. Well, now we know. Weather doesn't just happen. The sun helps make it. And that's why it's not always the same in every place on Earth. Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do to stop the weather outside. I just have to wait. But while I wait, I can paint, learn, and even dance in the rain if I feel like it. I guess it's not so bad after all. But now I'm curious. What's the weather like in a place that's always hot or always cold? Hmm. What kind of weather would you find in the desert or up on a mountaintop? I guess we can keep exploring those questions while it's raining too. Thanks for exploring with me today, scientist. Until next time, keep creating 
and I'll see you in the science studio. Hey, hey.